The minute-by-minute minute drama playing out on the frozen high seas. A rescue mission to free a ship trapped by thick ice in Antarctica is running into major trouble this morning. Conditions just too rough to reach the stranded ship, but wait till you see how the stranded scientists on board are making the best of it. ABC's Gio Benitez has been following the story from the beginning. Hey, Gio. Hey, Bianca. Good morning to you. Right now, rescuers are trying to figure out how to get to that stranded ship. One of those rescue crews got stuck, too. And another is right at the edge of the ice, but can't get through. Through. This morning, in the midst of brutal storms, this Chinese icebreaker sent to and couldn't get same frozen mess and couldn't get through, forced to turn back, leaving the 74 tourists. And the vessel is perfectly safe, but we can't make a passage forward. They're enduring those low temperatures and 50 mile per hour winds. Expedition leader Chris Turney joining us from Antarctica. Chris, what's going through your mind right now, knowing that icebreaker has turned back? It's sort of um, frustrating again that we can see uh, see hope and help, but uh, unfortunately for the moment, we're just uh, in an isolated position still. And they were so hopeful. What's that on the horizon, Chris? That's the icebreaker coming to rescue us, Alec. Brilliant. Those penguins in the foreground, the Chinese icebreaker in the back. Now the hope is that another icebreaker on the way from Australia can make it through the ice. The stranded ship first got stuck Christmas morning on the way back to Australia after visiting a legendary polar exploration site in Antarctica. We're in the ice, but all are well. When the ice first formed around the ship, open water was just two miles away. Now that ice field has grown dramatically. The ocean is now 13 miles away. Icebreakers need to be strong enough to push through all of that ice. Is there any part of you that is just really concerned about what's happening right now? Some of the Australians are complaining about the, uh, the amount of beer we've got left, but overall I think morale's pretty good and uh, just looking forward to getting home trapped in unbelievably harsh conditions, instead of panicking, these explorers are, what else, doing more research. We're keeping busy. An amazing spirit there, and you can see right there the bad weather still in the area during our interview. The Australian icebreaker could take days to reach the stranded ship, but there's a bit of good news. They have seven weeks worth of food, just in case this goes on and on, Dan and Bianca. And do we know, Gio, do they have beer on the Australian uh, icebreaker? <laughs> out of beer. They're out, out of beer. Worth. Ouch. Wow. Okay. Well, I see an airlift in their future. <laughs> Gio, thank you. Uh